In this video, I want to start talking about the idea of levels of measurement. Uh, or this, this is sometimes also called scales, scales of measurement. And uh, just to, the big picture here is that when you go out to do measurements, you're going to uh, get certain types of information uh, depending on how you recorded it, depending on what kind of a scale you used for recording that information. And uh, there's certain things you'll be able to do or not be able to do with that information depending on the nature of it. And that seem, probably seems vague and, and a bit confusing, but I'll clarify. It'll, it'll hopefully become clear as I go through some examples what what I'm talking about. Um, so in psychology, there uh, are there, there's the general or most common scheme that's used for levels of measurement is to have four different levels, um, and they sort of get uh, there's sort of a, a logical progression here in terms of the amount of information or what you can do with the information mathematically as we go through it. So sort of at the simplest level, we can have what is called a nominal scale or nominal level of measurement and uh, the term nominal it just means having to do with with names and that's essentially what we're doing is we're naming things or we're having a set of labels or I'm going to say a set of categories categories or characteristics um, this is really having to do with the quality or or this is about qualitative information. Um, so for example, uh, if we ask people whether they are male or female, we're asking for their gender. If we ask them about their academic major and then we classify them as a biology major, a psych major, a chemistry major, or we talk about their occupation and we're recording whether they work as a teacher or a banker, uh, that is qualitative information. We're asking about their characteristics. We're sorting them into different categories. We're 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 just recording uh, how people fall into these different uh, labels that we've that we've set up. So the main thing to notice here is that we're not recording any uh, any information that we could use to compare uh, the amount of something. So we wouldn't say, okay, well, this person is is twice as male as this other person, or this person is more of a biology major than someone else. We're just uh, categorizing them, not uh, talking about how much of something there is. Uh, the next level of measurement would be something uh, we call ordinal. And uh, just like with nominal, the name is quite nice. It tells you sort of what it is. It ha this means having to do with the order of things. So an, uh, uh, an ordinal level of measurement, what we're dealing with is we're dealing with a set of ordered uh, categories, or we might call we might say ranks when we're when we're dealing with uh, anything that has to do with ranking something, uh, that is definitely an ordinal scale of measurement. So if we have things like um, first, second, third place, right? There is some information about how much about quantity. Uh, whoops. We know that, for example, if we have runners in a race, the one who comes into first place, we know that he ran faster. There was more speed in his run than there was in the person who came in second. But we don't know how much. Um, other examples of this would be things like large, uh, medium, small. Or like with salsa, we could have hot, medium, and mild. It tells you something about the amount in terms of relative to something else. Is there more or less? So the way we can we can say that is uh, we know direction. So ordinal scales give us information about direction, but they do not uh, tell us uh, the amount of difference there is. So we are able to say things about having more or less, uh, but not not how much of a difference there is. So, for example, if we go back to our, our idea of having runners that finished in first, second, and third place, we know that the person who finished in first place was faster than the one in second place, but he could have been two milliseconds faster, 
or f- five years faster. There's there's no information there other than saying, uh, okay, this person had more of something, but we don't know how much more. 